Hello, hello everyone, and welcome again to another LEGO Barnacle video. For today, guys, I'm going to be doing an update review on the Shapeways Kanohi Ethnica, which I did do recently. Um, as for the Kanohi Kraken, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but of course, I'll get your opinions on it later on. But anyway, guys, as you can see in front of me, we have Takanuva the Toa of Light, the legendary 7th Toa, and of course, the legendary Toei Ethnica, the Toa of Life. So here, as you can see, is the updated version of the Mask of Life, the Great Kanohi Ignika. You can see that I've spray painted it in the gold spray there. A uh, very nice color. It came out really well. You can see how shiny it is, and uh, that's exactly why I wanted to give this mask that nice, shiny, glittery, glimmery look there. Um, of course, you can see a bit of metal shards kind of uh, obviously glowing off the mask there, and that's the effect that I wanted, and that's exactly what I got. Of course, I did do a couple of coats on this mask and uh, still fits nicely onto the barnacle head so I'm pretty happy about that so here it is as you can see and it just looks so stunning there so just to show you an even uh, closer look into the mask as you can see there so there you can see the amount of detail with this mask here wow that is so cool you can see how shiny it looks obviously it has that rough look still but uh, it has that nice, uh, you know, that metal look to it that kind of uh, obviously reflects off the light there, which I really, really like. And uh, the overall uh, job, or the finished job, looks really great. I am really happy about it. As mentioned, a couple of coats there, uh, just to make the gold stand out more. And of course, to prevent the paint from coming off. Uh, there you can see it still looks great and then you can see the pin axle there colored in as well It obviously made the pin axle a bit thicker, but uh, still overall it fits into the barnacle head, which I'll show you next There you go Legendary okay, so here is the barnacle head and uh, let's give this a go and see how this fits in and like I mentioned, it fits on nicely. Great fit there. You can see the trans yellow brain stock there for this headpiece. Uh, very nice, of course. Um, well, let's see. I'm going to give it a try and see what it looks like on Takanuva and on the Toa Ignika. And, you know, obviously to see if it actually does look nice on any set. But uh, we'll see what it looks like. But there, as you can see, is the barnacle head attached on. So I guess to compare it with the... Uh, Kenohi Avaki, here is the Kenohi Ignika, the first form, and um, wow, very different masks. Of course, at the end of the day, the color of the gold is very different as well, and uh, very different purposes in life to exist, as mentioned in my last, uh, of course, my last review. But uh, I'm going to take this off now and see if I can put on the uh, Ignika. Sometimes these are so hard to remove. There we go. Okay, let's give this a try. There we go, and that looks really nice, I have to be honest. And now to put it on Takanuva. So here is what it looks like when Takanuva, the Toa of Light, is wearing the Kanohi Ignika. Uh, I have to say, it looks great, I have to be honest with you all. Of course the color scheme doesn't really go as well, but that gold really stands out and makes the white also stand out there. And uh, I think it looks great to be honest. Um, there's nothing really bad I can say about it other than the fact that maybe just a bit you can see obviously a bit of the white skull there but other than that um, obviously you can see the uh, trans I think it's a trans orange uh, brain stock there but still guys I think it looks really great there a nice fit and um, makes them look like a warrior to be honest I guess other than the fact that the antenna is kind of sticking out there but looks great to be honest overall I am a big fan of this um, wow, that looks so cool. And just here is, a, I guess, a close-up of it. There you can see it uh, just a bit better there, just like that. And uh, just to show you, I guess a full 360 legendary mask. Wow. And yeah, I think it looks really nice. But uh, that is pretty much it. I guess now to try it on the Toa Egg Nika. So here are the two legendary masks from different times, from different eras pretty much, and uh, for different reasons. Of course, this mask here was meant to be the countdown to the end of the universe, close to the end of its life, as we all know, because it's, it turned into silver, and then eventually it would have turned into black. But of course, uh, I already told you the storyline about it. But uh, anyway, here is the first form of the Ignika, created by the great beings. As you can see there, 
very nice very different of course um, you know looking masks there the structure the look of them um, I guess maybe in some cases there could be some similarities maybe like the uh, the little lines that are sticking out there on the side except uh, with this Ignika here it's got three this one over here has two and obviously obviously the color is also very different here we have it in gold because that's its original color here it's in silver you can also see the uh, the eyepiece are very different as well um, this looks more like a helmet to be honest but uh, like a well you know heavily armored helmet well this one kind of does just look like a mask there um, or like a you know like a human face kind of uh, you, know, you get my idea but yeah that's pretty much it and uh, looking at the back there you can see that you have to use a red pin axle for uh, the silver Kanohi like Nika for this one here it already comes with a pin axle there nicely attached on but uh, other than that there isn't really much I can say um, other than what I've already mentioned but there you can also see the little, uh, I guess that little space there in between has that there, but it's much larger with this Kanohi Ignika. Um, other than that, there isn't really any patterns like this one here, so you can see quite a few patterns going on. While well, this one here, I guess just has a few, but uh, not as much as the silver Kanohi Ignika. But wow, two legendary masks side by side. I'm so happy that I uh, have both of them to be honest. Um, so cool. Okay, so let's try on the uh, Kanohi and see what it looks like on Toa Ignika. So push it right in and wow, that is pretty sick to be honest. I really, really like it. That is so cool. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big fan of this. Of course, I'll show you a uh, full image of the, uh, the whole body of the Ignika. But there, as you can see it right now, I think that looks really nice. Of course, maybe the color scheme may be just a bit off, of course, because the gold's a bit different uh, to the uh, the gold here, since this is kind of like heat orange. But then again, it's meant to be gold. Uh, I think it still looks great, to be honest. Uh, I really, really like it. Big fan of it. Um, I really think it's worth buying the mask. It's a legendary mask, and it hasn't been created by Lego Barnacle, to be honest. So, uh, why not? So that's what it looks like, uh, the overall image. Uh, it looks great, as mentioned. Maybe just the color scheme is just a bit off, because obviously, you know, it doesn't really uh, look gold oldly enough uh, the whole body is kind of dark you know mixed colors all that stuff but uh, I think it looks great overall if I go in closer you can see that the uh, brain stock there does pop out a bit and of course the skull but other than that it doesn't really make a big difference to be honest you can still get some good articulation of course because the the mass doesn't really hinder much movement maybe just a bit but uh, you can lift it up and move it side to side uh, very nicely as well so it doesn't really matter to be honest uh, you can still get some good articulation there even when the mask is a bit bulky. So there you have it guys, that is pretty much my updated review on the Kanohi Agnika. So the Kanohi Agnika only. There you can see of course is the Kanohi Kraken, the mask of shadows worn by the Pterodax. Now I still haven't done anything to this mask because I still don't really know what I should do. That's why I really wanted to ask you all. Uh, please let me know in the comments below what I could do with this mask. Should I just spray paint it black or to some sort of matte black color? Maybe give it a, uh, a a shiny dark gray tone I don't know guys let me know what I can do with this so then maybe I can uh, build this for a new mock or maybe just place it on my Teradex my G1 Teradex uh, I don't really know let me know what you guys think I would really really love to know your opinions and ideas but um, other than that I think that is pretty much it um, as you can see it's spray painted there uh, it was pretty easy to be honest but I really recommend getting this mask guys um, I think it's great now something else I also wanted to mention to you all I have two more of these masks coming but by different creators so I can't wait to show you that of course I'm gonna compare all three of them with you um, when they do arrive hopefully it's uh, currently in production so when they do come uh, we'll show you them to show you them all uh, my apologies there guys but um, yeah I'm really excited to show you that but I think Think that is my video done. So there you have it guys, that is practically my updated review on the Kanohi Ignika, the first form created by the great beings. I really all hope you have enjoyed this, if you have guys, smash that thumbs up button and of course subscribe to my channel so then you guys are all up to date with any new videos I do post out. As mentioned, please uh, stay tuned for many more awesome videos to come because I have many more to show you guys, I can't really wait. I have so many more, uh, so many surprises for you all, so please stay tuned for that. 
Anyway, guys, thank you again so much for watching. Have a great day, everyone. I will be talking to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.